Unless there is only one way to do the things, and that is to go for a dance party. <laughs> fellas! Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to make Renier work. Now, I have some thoughts about Renier. And um, I am thinking that this vehicle is a bit overrated by me and by many others. Do not get me wrong, Rene is a great tank and Rene is currently rated um, epic in the index page, but this tank is not ideal, right? And if you are comparing that with, uh, let's say, Baza, which is completely borderline broken uh, and everything, Rene doesn't feel this way. Now, let's talk what this vehicle is all about and what uh, Rene is to begin with, right? Rene is a tier 8 American heavy tank premium, right? Rene has extremely good DPM to offer, right? This is the most important thing of Rene. And obviously you have nice gun depression, which is very, very good. Gun depression is fine, DPM is fine, gun handling is also okay, although it has some moments when the gun handling can simply troll the living crap out of you, right? And the platform is not that bad whatsoever. It, it sounds like a good combination of the things, and I'm not saying this tank is bad. I am saying this tank is good, fellas. But where the hardest point of Renier goes is to hide cupola and to actually make a good work of all those features what I just said, you know? This is where um, it gets very, very complicated and... Um, well, complicated, maybe it's not the not even the right word, but it is extremely hard to make this tank work to the best of its ability, right? This is what I want to highlight. Uh, and don't get me wrong, once again, uh, Rene is a great tank, uh, and Rene is uh, four to five stars where vehicle goes, but I'm not entirely sure is it that great for not so experienced players, and it's not that, and it's just not that powerful. It, in other words, it is extremely hard tank to make it work. It's like you would give them fluid for a new musician, right? You would give a fluid. He doesn't know what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to blow or he's supposed to do something else. You get the point what I'm saying? So yeah, this is how I feel like about this tank. And today, we are going to make this beautiful mother tracker work. I believe we will make it work. So, what we figured out from all of this, we figured out that enemies are making pressure like this, so uh, in other words, we cannot play there because they are going to be the living crap out of us. Uh, they simply have more guns, they have Centurion, they have Standard B, they have ISM, they have a guy on top of the hill as well, which is definitely a problem and, and it's definitely a complicated thing to deal with. So, we need to take a look at everything slower, you know, slow down. There is no need for us to make a hardcore pressure. Now, where the gun goes, uh, speaking of the alpha damage, alpha damage of this tank is far away from being bad. 360 alpha with this DPM is actually pretty uh, pretty good. Nice shell velocity with a standard ammunition, even better with a gold if you are willing to spam the gold. It's, it's even... Uh, it is even better, right? Now, speaking about the gun accuracy, how often this tank can troll? Uh, it can troll quite a bit. You cannot say it is heads down the easiest um, tank to play with and you are going to hit 100% of the shots. You know, it's just not the case, fellas. But it is decent enough for, uh, uh, for this DPM and for everything else. It is decent enough, fellas. No. As you can see, it wasn't a horrible shot by me by any shape or any form, but you know, hashtag never lucky. That's fine. Now, we will try to use our brain power as much as we physically and possibly can, and we will try to make the Son of the Banana work for us. Um, enemies here build a nice crossfire. Hmm. How I can dig them out? I know the standard B is sitting here and he is just simply waiting until I am going to overpeak, you know? This is how it looks like. Okay, good boy. Nice. I will try to focus quite a bit at this point to... 
to push this tank to the limits. Hopefully we will get 4000 combined session. This is what I want to see with this tank, but I will focus. It doesn't, it doesn't happen that often that I go on the focus mode, but let's try to do this. Now, obviously, we are having a blast while beating the living crap out of ISM, but as you can see, it's not so simple to hit um, him in angle like this. You know what? I kind of want to show dominance for this bzzz. This is what I am thinking. Standard B down to fartable. How about this vaza? This vaza can be a problem. Mm -hmm. Arta is smart. Arta is going with the blind shots over there. He doesn't, he doesn't give a um, f too much. You know, he just knows I am going to play in this bush and he is going for it, which is very, very good call, honestly. It is a good call. Now our gusor makes pressure good. This is exactly what I would love to see. Don't hit me. Good. Our Gusor is going in now. Excellent. Now we can play in the middle. Why so? Because our Gusor should be able to clip this Vaza so we can do some heavy lifting over there. And in fact, I think our heavy lifting is going to include to take this position over there right now. And we will start farming uh, enemy forces sitting here. That's what I think. Hmm. Do I want to do that? The thing is, this gentleman, he will get flanked, okay? It's a matter of the time whenever our guys will go like this. So what we are doing, we are just waiting for a moment, fellas. Oh, he's running away for his life. Good. This is exactly what we want to see. Look, you see this guy going? Good, 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 good. This is exactly what we need, fellas. So, now center is clear. By the way, in my humble opinion, we have a winning spawn here, so we will try to do our best to get the most of all of this. We are getting assisting damage, nice. Scorpion, I do not really mind that much, to be fair with you. Even though he might hit me, I don't care. This is assisting damage. This is the moment whenever I uh, try to go for a breadcrumbs and I am trying to get as much use as I physically and possibly can before the game is over. Because we won this game already, it's a matter of the time. Right? This is the thing. And since I know we won this game, there is no need for us not to make pressure and not to start uh, uh, spanking enemies left, right, and center. That is okay. We are sitting very, very well. And you see, in a way, this time can work. This is a great performance. You cannot say it is a bad play by us or it is just overall uh, disgusting gameplay experience or not. No, this time can work, but you need to be smart with it. You need to know what you are doing. And I think many, many World of Tanks players would struggle with this tank. So uh, that being said, I would highly recommend to avoid it for a newer World of Tanks players who doesn't know the positionings there that well who doesn't know uh, the tank accuracy is that well because let's get real if you are peaking let's say against whatever is6 against is6 there is a uh, quite a chance is6 will miss the cupola and he has base low penetration if you will peak against something like leopard pata or leopard one whatever uh, there is a humongous chance you will take one for the team so you need to have your trades smart and you need to um and you need to play well with this mother tracker Right? So the very first game, I'm super happy about this, but still you have only 2.4 thousand damage. Fellas, it's not only about the damage, it's about those breadcrumbs. That being said, uh, the sweet assisting damage, right? So all in all, 2.4 thousand damage dealt, 4.7 thousand assisting damage, first class, beautiful play, I'm happy. We are first by experience, we are fourth by the damage, very, very, very good. And we made 187 thousand profits, although 87, uh, 80 thousand comes from um, missions, right? So we made 100 thousand profits flat. Good, very, very, very good. Let's keep it up. Okay, round number two, highway standard battle. Um, I don't like one thing. I do not like what kind of heavies we have and what enemies, uh, what enemy heavies they have, right? They have a platoon of the one of the most strongest tanks in the game, which is Skoda T56. That is a problem, fellas. Um, because if those Cobras would peek sideways for me, I am going to take one for the team, okay? Uh, and this is not what I am looking for, this is not what I would love to see. I mean, 
I could try to play very aggressively, but if they are going to coordinate well, uh, we are going to have a bit of the problems. Right? This is this is what I am thinking. And until Oho and Vaka comes to the city, uh, it will take quite some time. Now speaking where the sniper schnitzel goes. We have uh, we have Kari, we have Liz. I do not know if SME will go into the city, Swiper will go into the city. I do not know that. And now this is the moment when I need to make a choice. Do I want to be very aggressive or not? This is the question. Do I want to be very aggressive or not? You know what? Risk it for the biscuit. I'm going for it. This is this is the play which is extremely, extremely aggressive. This is the play which is uh, able to spank enemies left, right and center. And you can get a lot of assisting damage meanwhile. But in the same time, this play can lead you to take one for the team very, very quickly. If you will misplay, you are pretty much dead meat. You know? This is how it looks like. Because not only you are open here or here, in the same time you are kind of easy target for people who are going to go aggressively like this or even shoot through the walls here. So we need to be careful. But you know what? Sometimes I feel like I just want to go, you know? I, sometimes I feel I want to go for the action. Yeah, strong play, a smart play. Uh, pfft, no. I want to go in. This is how I feel like sometimes. Now good luck for ISU to hit my cupola and this is what I'm talking about. I know ISU is not the most accurate tank on the field, you know? So I am taking in general significantly higher risks against this guy. Okay, Skodas are going to take one for the team. Good, 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 good. Very good. This is the moment whenever we are getting involved. This is the moment whenever we are saying, Hi, how are you? You are feeling great? You are playing great, thanks fellas. I'm glad you are enjoying yourselves. You know, this is, this is the moment whenever we are just trying to show quite a bit of the dominance. Okay. The Skoda is on the reload, that being said, we are going to eliminate this tank and we are going to go for Skoda um, number 2, right? I will peek because there is a chance he is on the reload at this point. And as you can see, I am trying to aim properly, I am trying to do the things well whenever I am playing with this tank and oh boys, oh boys, what beautiful mother tracker this tank can be. If you know what you are doing, right? Did you felt how we got 2,000? 2,000 just like this. Now, base defense. Obviously, our team is crumbling. Um, our team is disappearing from this uh, from this map, which is a sad thing. But unfortunately, this doesn't really depend on us, right? I would love to say, oh, yeah, so fellas, there is a, um, I can do this and that and this and that and our team will win. No, <laughs> it doesn't work this way. Unfortunately, it doesn't work this way. It doesn't mean we need to give up. We can try to uh, play for the for the best score and we can try to do our best as well, right? And this is exactly what we are doing. Now, my biggest hope and my biggest dream is for enemies not to cap the base, okay? That's simple. I just hope they are not going to cap the base. Okay, what we should see in a moment, we should see Projet or anyone else trying to go through the mid like this, okay? They want to get involved and they want to slaughter our team um, and us included, right? This is how it looks like. So the question is, who is going to, the, be, uh, to be the first gentleman who will get spotted here? I can see this Lance and crossing here. Probably he's not alone. Bad shot by me and oh boys oh boys uh there is a problem all of them are going at the same time all of them are going at the same time error 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 well i was thinking it will be a bit better than it was but uh, oh well you know what what a smart mother trackers what a smart mother trackers they 
there is some tanks which are faster than others. So I thought the faster tanks will be greedy. They will go in front and they will say... Yeah, unfortunate. All of them are like a bloody... Uh, um, Tsunami went together and just beat the living crap out of all of us. That is okay. It happens. And you know what? I personally do not feel bad about this. I think our play was decent and I think we did uh, um, we did great. Okay, fellas. We are coming with a defeat, but this is not a bad performance. 2.9 thousand damage. I am feeling very, very fine with this. Uh, obviously, medium tanks was uh, the MVPs of this game. Uh, if I can say so, they just simply beat the living crap out of our team. Then they flank it and then they eliminated the city. Not much what you can do about this. All and all, no complaints, no regrets. We are um, second by experience. We are second by the damage. Uh, we made a casual 48,000 profits as well, which is okay. Let's go for round number three. Ooh, and round number three looks good. We are playing in the Himmelsdorf field. Now, you know what? I feel like we are going to go on top of the hill. This is what I feel. Usually, usually I like to play in bananas. Sometimes I like to play in the third line. And now I have a need to go on top of the hill. Now by going on top of the hill, we will try to play hull down to the best of our abilities. And yes, this tank has cupola. And this is how it looks like whenever you are playing properly hull down with this tank. You can see it. But there is a hack how you can save it right if enemies let's say are facing you this way how camera is looking like you are raising the gun and by raising the gun you are blocking your weak spot this is the strategy to use on pretty much every single tank uh which has cupola like e5 uh, Rene, and many 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 others right this is what you want to do you want to uh you want to make the situation as complicated as possible for the enemy forces. This is what you want to do, right? Simple as this. And after that, you know, use your DPM and try to be the living crap out of the enemies. So, the first things first. Do I want to take this? I do not want to take this. And I can tell you exactly why. Because this Ergashem Borshik is like an eagle waiting until someone will appear here. And I can promise you that whenever someone will get into this position, it is not going to be fun for this gentleman. Enemy Rene is, um, well... Like I said, it's not the easiest time to play for beginners for sure. It is far away from being easy. And you know what? I'm going for this board. I think this Borat will change his mind in a moment whenever he is going to see Rene with high explosives. Uh, hi there. Unfortunately, I did not penetrate at him, but there is no need for us to uh, cock our pants. Bizonte is speaking like this, so Bizonte will try to uh, say hi. Good, good, good. And enemies are getting flanked. That's actually not that bad. We are going for uh, Borat. We are going to say hello for him. He gave up on his life, fellas. Looks like Borat said, eh. This is how it looks like. Oh, Bizonte is baboon. Fellas, there is only one way to do the things. And that is to go for a dance party. <laughs> fellas. Okay, we can, we can clearly see that uh, the party is going nice. And we are having a round two. Now, obviously, since uh, those guys, we are not invited to the party, fellas. We are going to try to do our best to eliminate them from the game, right? That's what we are going to do. Chooks just like this, and now we are saying hello for the T-34. Now, T-34 has a bit of the trouble. Because T-34 is outdated tank, right? T-34 is definitely outdated, fellas. So, what we are going to do here, we are going to say hello for him, and we will try to eliminate him from the game. I saw what Bizonte did. He was... Fellas, Bizonte was dancing together with a, with a Model 1, but after that he killed him. Shame on you, Bizonte. How dare you to? How dare you? He was friendly till the moment, but whenever, you know, uh, he noticed, nah, I'm okay. I'm not so friendly. I'm not so good. <laughs> Oy, 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 oy. Okay, let's try to make a sandwich of this art. A poop. Just like so. And you know what, fellas? I don't care about the score. I don't care about the score. Now, fight, 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 fight. Uh, fellas, uh, what, what would you say? 
What would you say? Who who of those two gentlemen are winning? What do you think? What do you think? Which of those two gentlemen are winning? Okay, I am putting my bets on the IS-3, fellas. IS-3 is going ham, and IS-3 is pushing this guy out of the position, and we have a sniper, Schnitzel Ergashem. And Bizonte is not even fighting, at least it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Fellas, I think Bizonte is fine. <laughs> <laughs> and IS3 in the end of the day, PP raised. Oh my, okay. Uh, yeah, good emotions in the world of tanks, fellas. Why you have to be mad? Why you have to be mad? Oi, oi. Oi, 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 oi. Okay. All jokes aside, I think we showed quite a bit of the Renia. Uh, it was it was really fun session and I had a lot of fun while laughing and while having a dance party involved this module one module one got betrayed by the bizonte after that is3 farmed bizonte uh, and in the end of the day while bizonte was dancing is3 was farming him and whenever the time has come you know whenever bizonte died is3 like a winner raised his PP in the air <laughs> Oi, 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 what a game that was. I love you so much, you better love me. So, obviously, all good. Uh, obviously, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is all uh, shits and giggles and, you know, uh, you do not need to look into the game serious to the level that you want to be the living crap out of everyone around you, right? I am saying mouse because I hear that quite some people change their mouses or their keyboards or even monitors, right? Sometimes you can look at everything from a bit different perspective and not everything is about the damage or assisting damage or mark of excellence, whatever you are playing the game for. Uh, game should be fun as well, right? Anyways, um, we finished everything with 2.9 thousand damage and uh, 1.2 thousand base experience. We are second by the damage, we are first by experience, we made 82 thousand profits. I believe we showed uh, one more thing that this vehicle is significantly more powerful than T-34 is, even though T-34 has better penetration uh, and uh, bigger alpha damage, the, DP, uh, the DPM is just a problem and Rene is way superior over the tank. And what do I mean by saying this is... Um, Today's video point. I think Rene is a good tank, right? I truly do think so. But in the same time, I think it is extremely hard tank to make it work. And any imper imperfection will lead you to the garage faster than you can imagine. The most selling point of, or the biggest selling point of this tank is obviously the DPM overall and uh, gun depression. Minus 10 is very good. The biggest weakness of this tank is that cupola. If you can cover the weakness, then it's hip hip hooray. If not so much, then you have a problem and you have a trouble for sure. Fellas, I almost forgot to show average performance. 2.7 thousand damage, 1.9 thousand assisting damage, uh, a solid 4.5 thousand combined, right? A great score overall. I hope I showed how to play with this tank and I hope you enjoy yourself so yeah i hope you were very well entertained speaking where this video goes i hope you learn a tip uh, uh, or trick how to play with renia and in the same time i hope i made uh, a smile on your face as well uh, i just want to say thank you very much for every and each of you for being together with us uh, when the games goes uh, well and when the games doesn't go so well it is summer it is winter doesn't matter thank you fellas i appreciate you and i hope i am worth everything what you are giving to me because you are giving me a lot. Thank you.